absolute destruction. That's going to need repairing. And the whole place just smells of the sea. And it's still foggy. And apparently it's going to get worse later as the storm comes in again. Oh boy. Okay. Repairs part one. And that'll need doing as well. But repairs part one done. It's pretty strong wind if it rips it out from there. Not sure you can see from here, but the ocean down there is pretty crazy. I'm gonna take a walk down to the beach now and uh, and see how it is. There's a little lighthouse or kind of light at the end of the pier and that's been washed out uh, by the strength of the tide and the waves coming in. There's been a lot of damage. Can't really see it from here but um, been a lot of trees coming down, a lot of the palm trees down by the beach have fallen down. Um, I took a walk the other day and there were a lot of flower pots and stuff flying off the balconies. There's been a lot of damage done by this storm although I have to say but on, uh, on initial impressions, it's not looking too bad at the moment. There's a crane actually working over there, so it can't be too bad. Um, we'll see how we hold up tonight when the second part of the storm comes in. All right, this is the dry riverbed. I say dry, not exactly dry at the moment, just outside my, my block of flats there. And uh, you can see a little bit further up here where the uh, reeds I've kind of been flattened. This was torrential uh, yesterday and the day before. See where the water's come down. Uh, obviously, it acts as a irrigation, and this was absolutely flowing with water all the way down to the the beach here. And it's still not looking great. Although compared with the last couple of days, this is now fairly calm. The winds died down considerably, and. Uh, not as bad as it was but honestly since Sunday it's been an absolute nightmare we just had uh, constant wind uh, I think it's been rattling you saw my terrace there it was messed up completely and you can see it empties out into the sea here and it's not looking great it's been really far up. A lot of these palm trees, um, can't see any here. There's been a couple that have come down. One came down on top of a car with people inside. Thankfully nobody was injured. But in eight years of living here, I've never seen the weather be as consistently bad. Uh, get a look here. I can see already that the sea is much closer than it normally is.
I can see here the uh, some of these recycling bins or you know, rubbish bins are still here there's a lot of rubbish washed up on the beach as well and here we have a casualty let me hop across here without breaking my ankle if I can and you can see this just snapped right off fell from there can't see any more down there but uh, I think there's been at least a couple more down carry on down there normally you can see the next town up can't see anything you know, some brave souls standing out there on the pier rather them than me and that's the big pier down there that's been closed off for a few days uh, you have to be crazy to go out there uh, I will not be going down there put it that way just come to these steps get a little view of the, the rest of the beach oh, this is the top beach and, uh, yeah, it's been hit pretty hard. A lot of damage. Those waves are massive. The sun is hopefully coming out soon. And hopefully the worst is past us now. Alright, I'm cold. I'm going home.